Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another video and this time it's going to be a giveaway slash tutorial. I'm really excited about this because this is my first giveaway in a really, really long time and I have to thank the Bomb Cosmetics for reaching out to me and even providing this opportunity for not only me but also everyone who follows me. So thank you so, so much. Totally very grateful. So the giveaway is also going to include a Maybelline product as well because they also gave me two of the same product and I want to include this in the giveaway because I think why not? Why would I hoard everything to myself? The main product in the giveaway is the Meat Matte Schmaker eyeshadow palette and it's just on time for Valentine's Day as you can see he is just as cupid and what he has done and he has created pairs here. Each eyeshadow has its pair. It also will come with a liquid eyeliner by The Balm as well. And this is a matte finish eyeliner. So I have the Mary Dumanizer and the Bonnie Dumanizer. This is mine. This is the Mary Dumanizer. And as you can see, it's just a very light gold. This Mary or Bonnie one is more on the bronze side. So... It has a little bit more gold in it. The very last thing that I'm giving away is a Maybelline product. And this is their newest um, mascara. It's called Total Temptation. I have it on today. Um, this is what the actual um, tube looks like. It's a matte um, finish on the packaging. But this is the wand. And it's just going to give you lots of volume and thickness. So just a few things that you have to do in order to qualify to be a part of the giveaway is one, you have to be subscribed to me and also follow me on Instagram. Two, I would love for you to go and follow The Balm Cosmetics on Instagram as well. I'll put their Instagram name down below. Um, and then three, just go ahead and comment down below that you would like to be entered. If you live in the U.S. or if you don't live in the U.S., you can definitely enter. So it'll be international. And yeah, I'm really excited and I'm really, really excited to show you guys how I got this look using my Neat Match Maker palette, which I said already, I love it so much. Um, oh yeah, baby. If you want to learn how to get this look, just go ahead and keep on watching. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer because my face is feeling super dry today. And I just need it to just, oh, that feels so nice. As for foundation, I'm using my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines. And this is in the color light. And I just use this little 75 cent palette that I got from the arts and crafts store. <laughs> um... Let's dot this all over my face. Using this little bad boy, this is by Real Techniques. It's, it's their version of a beauty blender, except it's a lot bigger. Now the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes Illuminating um, Concealer, and this is in light. I just take a generous amount of it, kind of warm it up in between my two ring fingers, and just dab it where I need it. Oh, 
So I'm using the Fit Me by Maybelline Cosmetics, and this is in Fair. It's the lightest color, and it actually is the lightest color that I have found, like highlighting color for my skin tone. So my skin tone is really, really light, so it really does a good job at like highlighting because some other highlights actually blend right into my skin and I'm just like okay there's just no point to that so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that underneath this is also gonna help your concealer from not creasing and you're always gonna use a wet sponge to do this you don't want to do it dry So see, it's like super bright, which is perfect for me. Now I'm taking the It Cosmetics CC Airbrush Perfecting Illumination Full Coverage Finishing Veil. And this is what it looks like. It's very basic looking on the inside and kind of dirty. But I actually really love this product because it covers very well and leaves a really nice perfected finish on your face. One of my favorite highlighters, or er, <laughs> one of my favorite bronzers from the drugstore is number seven's um, Golden Sand Bronzer. And it's perfect for my skin tone because it's very, very light um, for days where I don't want to go super heavy on the contour and I just want a much softer look. Um, it just gives you just a bit, a slight bit of color. As you can see, it's just, like it really oh you can't even see it barely gives you a hint of color which is really perfect I'm taking off the big I don't bake for very long for blush I'm using Wet n Wild's Ombre blush and this is in the color the Princess Daiquiri's this is just going to give a very subtle hint of color. I don't want that much. So now I'm going to use the Mary Duminizer um, Liquid um, Luminizer. So I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible and just kind of dot it where I need it. And then quickly take a brush and blend it out as fast as I can before it sets. Because if it sets, it's just going to... It's not going to blend very well. So as you guys can see, it like blends right into the skin. Like that. I'll do it on my cheek bits though as well. a lot of highlight on my forehead but we're just gonna leave it like whatever I use matte limos right there that very very pale um, matte color I put that on my brow bone now I'm gonna take matte stupac 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 sorry I'm not very good with like white last names <laughs> and I'm going to apply that into my crease I'm going to extend it out just a little bit. And now I'm also going to move this color down below onto my lash line. Oh, Lord Jesus, I just poked myself in the eye with this Dagon brush. Okay, that's okay. Things like that. <laughs> Be careful. Now I'm taking the MAC 221 brush. This is just a more dense er, crease brush. I'm taking the same color, matte stoop, stupac, stupac, and um, I'm going to apply that right into the crease. 
Now, this is the same color. However, this brush is just going to um, really help define the crease a little bit more and give it more depth and also concentrate the color into the crease. So now I'm going to take Alex Stupak, which is his little pair, his lady, and with my ring finger, I'm going to apply that onto my lid. And it's just a very pretty bronzy color with specks of gold in it. It is seriously one of the prettiest colors I own now. I'm just going to take my luminizer and also highlight my inner corners. For more definition on the eyes, I'm taking um, a brown liner pencil. This is Mr. Right by um, The Balm as well. So I just kind of dot it and then I'll just kind of go in. I'm also going to do the top line, the water line. Now I'm taking Seymour Date Nights in Nude. And this is just a flesh tone eyeliner pencil. I want my eyes to look big, so I'm trying to keep away from the closed off look of the eyes if I were to put brown liner on my waterline. As for lashes, I'm using the Demi Wispies in brown, and they're a very light brown color. This is Maybelline's newest Total Temptation Mascara, and it is just in black. I don't have anything brown, or else I would use brown, but I'm going to go ahead and coat my lashes with this lightly, starting from the base, just to bind the lashes together. Okay, so for lips, we're going to keep it really simple, and I'm going to use the balm again. Um, this is actually something that I got a while ago, but it's called Read My Lips Lip Gloss, and it's a very pigmented lip gloss. It is in the color Snap, and it's just a nude color. It smells so fruity and yummy. I'm going to add a little more illuminator. So this is the final look. Very light, smoky, blown out, but also with a little bit of um, oomph to it with the lashes and the glow. I just wanted to keep it very nude, very simple, very glowy, and healthy looking and fresh. Very simple simple um lots of steps to simple looks i would say um but i think this is a great uh look for valentine's day if you're going to go out with either your bae or your girlfriends who can also be bae i love you guys i hope you guys have a really blessed day and i'll see you later bye